What's up people, Shidigami here. Today we're doing a post Burst of Destiny meta breakdown tier list maker. So let's just say this is the meta for the upcoming YCS Utrecht. Might put that in the title. Um, because there's not going to be any really relevant imports I think. Because of Legends exist, but I don't expect much from there. So, I mean, then again maybe there's like the wolf fish stuff with like the... Yeah, there might be like one tier 2 deck at best in there. But yeah, today we're determining a dead tier list for uh, the current meta. I'm of course a meta expert as you all know, so this is 100% going to be totally accurate. Um, this template was made by Keystone Bima, or whatever you pronounce this on Twitter apparently, so shout out to them. So the tiers are tier 0, um, like if it's like... Going to totally stomp the format, it's going to be tier 0. Tier 1 is going to be really really great decks, we're going to see these a lot at... Uh, that's by the way not always a tier 0, that's something to know. There's of course tier 1 decks, you know, the really really strong ones, tier 2 decks that aren't the best choice per se, but there still are decent decks in this format. Rogues, you have a chance at competing, but a chance is all you're gonna get, it's not gonna be huge. Um, Rogue, yeah, I can just explain the tier 500, just mean, it's just, yeah, funny, but it's not really good. So starting off, we have um, ABC, yeah, it's tier 500. Uh, this deck hasn't been good for a while. Despite banlist hits, which didn't never really made sense in the first place. Unless they get some insane support out of nowhere, this deck isn't going to be great, and I don't expect that to happen. Elemental Peter uh, move out of the way, Sword Soul is the better synchro deck now. And in general, Elemental Peter still lacks the Link Rolls, they lack the Block Dragon. They sure, sure they have other strong cards nowadays, but nothing on that level. This one confuses me, is the Cybers, is this... Eric Nister, is like Go Talkers. I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's Eric Nister. Although it could be Code Talker, and either way, it's just Rogue to Table 500. Not sure. I guess Rogue is accurate. Uh, B Troop is not a deck I don't think will reach above Rogue. It has some decent plays, but it's really not that strong as something in a tier 2 or a tier 1 deck, you know? Um, so yeah, I think Rogue is about it. Leolisk, uh, Tribigate, I assume. Like, who's gonna play it here? For like tier 2 to tier 1, it's hard to predict. New spot's insane though. Brave, that's a really hard one. Like okay, if you're gonna play pure Brave as a deck. It's gonna be tier 500. As an engine combined with other stuff. Hmm. So I'm gonna assume this is like the Brave Destiny Hero Engine Good Stuff deck. Which I think will be like tier 2. Maybe tier 1. Uh, Brave tokens on their own aren't that great, but when mixed with other stuff, that can be a decent deck. So yeah, I think tier 2 is about accurate. Because the Phantom Knight variant is the real strong one, and we'll talk about that later, which I'm assuming you're just gonna play with Brave tokens as well. Um, Cyber Dragon, table 500. Fun deck, nice to got support, none of the support is good enough. Still gonna be table 500 at best. Nothing personal writing against Cyber Dragon players, I just don't think the deck is that good. But it's not trash either. Might be like a rogue meta call, but it's still 500 and rogue, somewhere in between that. Dinosaur. It's like a ridiculously strong arch, uh, well, type of monsters, dinosaur, really. But are they in a good spot right now? I don't know. I think rogue sounds about accurate. Uh, Dragon Link, as far as I know, isn't doing anything right now. So I might be wrong on that, but still 500 as far as I've seen. Uh, Drytron is probably still tier 2. Uh, the deck, despite getting hit, is just still ridiculously strong. Don't think this deck is that, because it really isn't. Um, Outlet, yeah, Rogue. Rogue. I don't think it's a tier deck at the moment. Could be, if enough people play it, if we got so strong floodgates, but without them. Hmm. Evil Twin, yeah, that's definitely a tier 2 contender as well. With the new support, the deck's absolutely nuts, it's insane. Flunderies is stable 500, I don't even think it's a Rogue deck. I think it's one of the most overrated art steps of all time. Um, imagine basically Yosenju, it's like a stronger Yosenju, but... The issue is, uh, we have cards like Imperm, Veiler, so many ways to stop your one normal summon. And then you can't normal summon an additional monster. Granted, you have the field spell, but still. The deck is very, very fragile, and even then the end boards aren't that impressive. I think they're definitely one of the most underrated deck, uh, sorry, overrated decks at the moment, and yeah. Table 500 it is. Other guys like Borderline, Rogue, Tier 2. 
Depends on who pilots it. This deck's never just gonna be weak. Uh, good control, tier 2, fight me. Uh, this deck's insane. Best control, one of the best control decks out there. Um, I assume this is just hero. I like to look if there's like other hero card on here. With all the new support, uh, tier 1 for sure. Like the new Destiny Hero, Fusion Engine. It's completely ridiculous. People nowadays aren't playing Nibiru as much in their main decks, I think. I might be wrong there, but I don't see the reason to. So, yeah, tier 1 would be a surprise. Invoked variants, uh, yeah, they're rogue, you know. They're, they, can, they can do decent, but they're definitely not the best deck. Info Noble Table 500, no, like, no debate needed, I think. But Dolce, always strong rogue deck. Orcus Table 500, nothing special at the moment. They need Harpoor to do anything relevant, and Harpoor should stay banned, so. This deck's second Table 500. Pendulum, I'd say rogue. No, hands of a good deck builder, it could be insane. But besides Trift, there aren't many people that can really play this deck well. So it's upon Trift to save us all. <laughs> um, I'm assuming this is like the Phantom Knight Destiny Hero Brave Engine thing. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's, the, the, it's gonna become tier 0. I might be wrong here, but I've seen what the deck can do. It's honestly nuts. There's a reason it's pushing the OCG so hard. Uh, might be wrong here, but yeah, I expect uh, the Phantom Knight, Brave, Destiny Hero deck to just be insane. Uh, Plunder Patrol is still 500. Prank kits are tier 2 as well, I think. Although I'm not sure how good they are post hit. Solomon Great, uh, table 500. I think this is like with the new stuff from Brothers of Legend. Which I'm gonna assume is tier 2, or the World Lantern Shark thing, or maybe more like Rogue. But I've got a Kraken or something. It's a really strong deck in the OCG, might be strong here. Striker, uh, table 500. Well, maybe Rogue. So Nevalon is definitely without a discussion, table 500. Swartzel, it's a shame there's only Swartzel here and not um, the Tenji as a separate option. There's Swartzel with Tenji is tier 2. Swartzel on its own is tier 2. Oh, sorry. Swartzel Tenji, I think, is tier 1. Pure ish with maybe the fusion is tier 2. Just gonna put a tier 1 with the Tenjis. Synchron, uh, unless your name's 037 Wolf, table 500, don't even bother. There's a few people that can pilot this deck, but even then. If those people played battle decks, they would probably play as higher at tournaments. It's really not that good. Spiggins is also not even worthy being on this list. Like even maybe table 5000 and then goes there. I don't see why True Draco is on this list. Am I missing something? I'm not sure. Virtual World, Rogue or Table 500, not sure. So this is my uh, current meta, upcoming meta, Watches Utrecht, tier list. Um, am I wrong about some of this stuff? I mean, probably, but like you're watching the channel of a guy that doesn't even play the meta, like that one's on you, fam. Um, but this is just my personal view of strongest decks in the game at the moment. There's always going to be people that disagree, so leave your comments down below and I'll either block you if you're rude as fuck or, you know, maybe a civilized discussion can exist. Who knows? But yeah, this is my uh, tier list for now. I think uh, this is definitely the deck to watch. Phantom Knight, Swords, uh, no, Phantom Knight, Brave, Destiny Hero. Deck's insane for a reason. That might just be tier, strong tier 1. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be tier 0. It, it honestly depends on circumstances. Like, the biggest issue is that people still need to get a Brave Engine like two weeks before the YCS, and that might just not happen. But yeah, this is my tier list. Hope you all enjoyed it. If not, uh, that's on you. I mean, taking this as anything about a face value is your own problem, not mine. Anyways, peace.